I've been building AI systems long enough to have made every mistake in the book. And now after mentoring hundreds of builders, I'm seeing these same old mistakes come up again with LLM applications. In this video, I'm going to break down the five mistakes that AI builders make most often so that you can avoid them and build valuable AI solutions from day one. The first mistake is focusing too much on tools and technologies rather than the problem you're trying to solve. The truth is with today's tools, anything is technically possible. But just because something is possible, it doesn't necessarily mean it's helpful. So if you use technology as the starting point for your project, you're going to spend way too much time researching tools and ultimately end up with something that provides exactly zero value. The cure for this trap is to start every new project not by building, but by getting a clear understanding of the core problem you're trying to solve and who you are trying to solve it for. An easy red flag for this is that if you're saying technology focused things like I'm trying to build an agentic rag system, that's a sign that there's probably more discovery work that needs to be done. Even if you start with the right problem, however, the next trap is either over engineering or over scoping the initial version of your project. Over engineering is when people build their app for scale when they have zero users. And over scoping is when people try to squeeze in way too many features so that they spend too much time on nice to haves and not enough time on must-haves. While these are traps to consider when developing any kind of software, they are especially dangerous when building AI systems. That's because these systems are fundamentally different than traditional software. They are probabilistic rather than deterministic. In other words, they are governed by probabilities rather than logical rules. Consequently, you can't design the optimal AI system at the planning phase you have to run experiments, meaning shipping a minimal version fast, running real world data through it, and learning from failures. When it comes to planning an AI project, most people tend to fall into one of two extremes. On one end, there are those who just jump into writing or generating code, and at the other, you have those who spend way too long planning and never ship anything. The best builders I know, however, operate somewhere in the middle. They move fast because they know with probabilistic AI systems, you can't plan your way to a perfect solution. There will be edge cases you can't predict, model behavior you can't foresee, and failure modes you only discover when your system meets real data. But they also stop and think before executing to avoid the chaos that comes with building without a blueprint. This includes things like clarifying the problem by talking to customers and stakeholders, mapping out project milestones at the outset, and taking a strategic and structured approach to experimentation. Today you can build AI prototypes with very little thought or effort. However, building AI apps that don't suck and people actually actually want to use is a different story. The problem is that modern AI models don't do any one thing exceptionally well. It's the developer's job to figure out where the model makes mistakes and to correct them. In order to do this, you need to use evals. Evals are a way to measure if your system is doing what you want. When building with large language models, the process looks something like this. You start by building an initial version of your system. Next, you craft a set of 30 to 100 realistic and diverse inputs and generate responses for them. Then you manually review the inputs and their results via error analysis. And then finally, you construct evals based on the most significant mistakes. This gives you a systematic way to improve your AI system grounded in facts rather than feelings. Once you take a systematic approach to improving your AI system with evals, there's still another trap people fall into, which is treating all errors as equal. There are two components to an error. First is its frequency, i.e. how often it happens. And second is its severity. In other words, the degree to which it impacts the real world or the user. For example, if an AI financial analyst is right 99 times out of 100, but that one time that it's wrong, you lose all your money, you probably wouldn't be very satisfied with 
the results. In the same way, some failures of your AI system will be more impactful than others. Building valuable AI apps requires considering both of these dimensions and obsessing over the highest leverage opportunities for improvement. Although it's easier than ever to spin up AI apps, it's just as easy to fall into the well-known traps of AI development. Here I reviewed the five mistakes that builders make most often so that you can hopefully avoid them. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting the subscribe button and sharing your feedback in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for your time and thanks for watching.